Okay, we made it to deck eight. We did. Uh, after riding the elevator up to deck 15. We tried to hit the button. Somebody didn't hit the button fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> we had to ride it all the way back down to eight. Not a big deal. Uh, something we haven't showed you is Dazzles. Uh, I, okay, there's a lot of stuff we haven't showed you. Uh, but <laughs> I figure since we're on 18, we'll show you Dazzles. <laughs> Dazzles. We're on eight, guys, not eight, 18. Eight, eight, not 18. Eight. Well, you taking me to 15 screwed this whole thing up. This is like a <coughs> fancier dance club with live music. Oh, it's very cool looking. We've actually never been in here. Yeah. So they have live music. You can do some dancing or you can just sit and chill and listen to the different music. Uh, again, we just don't have time to do it all. So, we're not going to actually be able to stay in here and listen to music or take advantage of this. Nope. But it's here if you guys want to. You can do it another, uh, another time. Come fly with me. That's what we're doing tonight. Still a lot to do tonight. There's a lot to do every day. Okay, let's go to Central Park. So, welcome to the breezy Central Park. And this is kind of the general layout of it. Uh, kind of broken down in three sections uh, several places to eat and a couple other things here and we're gonna try to check them all out assuming they're all open so Central Park is really divided up into two sides the port and the starboard uh, we're just gonna pick a side and walk around it and come back the other side now all the greens are live greens uh, when Oasis was created it was the largest outdoor living area on any cruise ship uh it still might be i don't know that for sure uh, so first thing you come to on the i'm gonna say left hand side of our tour is chops girl super 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 good premium restaurant yeah we ate uh, there for lunch we ate there for lunch the very first day uh if you want to see what it's like go check that video out i'll link it uh that came with a key. We had the choice of eating here or across the way, and we'll show you that at Giovanni's. But there's indoor and there's outdoor seating. Now in the center, we have Rising Tide Bar. Uh, that's the bar that actually starts on deck six and rises up and down to deck eight. Uh, you could actually see it's going down right now. It'll stop on deck six, stay there for 20 minutes or so and then ride back up yeah uh, you can see it goes about every half hour it goes up and down it is really breezy here i just love the greens love the trees love the seating areas uh all kind of photo opportunities in fact we're going to stop take some photos before we move on to the next section because there are a ton of places to take photos Here's a better shot of that Rising Tide bar. You can see it lowering down. Uh, we did get to ride it a couple times. Uh, a lot of people say you never get to ride that. I've found that it's always going up and down and very seldom do you not get to ride it. Uh, so I don't know what other people were talking about. But that's, uh, we'll also cover this again when we cover our promenade tomorrow. So Chops Grill is the first thing you come across. The next thing is just a trellis bar, and that's what it is, it's called trellis bar. It's a little bar where you can stop and get drinks. In fact, when we're done with this, we may stop and get a drink. Yes. Yes. Now let's see. This is a beautiful wall of greenery. That's awesome. It's a beautiful bridge. That's awesome. And this bridge, as Kristen already said, is awesome. Like it is so nice around here. Ooh. Benches everywhere to sit. Uh, beautiful scenery. Even like little things such as, you know, this metal art or this metal art. It's one thing I would love about the Oasis is there is art everywhere. 
we haven't shown you a lot of the art uh, and maybe we'll try to show you even a little bit of it but there's art everywhere on a ship all for little all kind of little things to look at and we'll try to point some out maybe tomorrow but yeah uh, I could stay the Central Park and just sit here and relax all night so after what was a kind of uh, interesting photo session uh, between the wind and the lighting not working and things being blurry it's super hard to take photos it's been rough so trellis bar uh, beautiful bridge Gorgeous. cool sculptures and the uh, plant life next up on this side is Park Cafe another specialty restaurant uh, again inside eating outside eating uh, they have a pianist here that was playing I think she's taking five uh, but yeah you just sit here and enjoy the ambiance <laughs> It's very beautiful. So Park Cafe is, uh, you get sandwiches and salads, uh, like bagels in the morning, uh, salad sandwiches, stuff like that in the uh, lunchtime. It's not closed for dinner. It's not closed. It's not open for dinner, I don't think. I don't know for sure. We never really ate there before. Nope. So, but let's uh, continue on. Continue on. So not, so not everything in Central Park is food, although most of it is. Here is a professional picture portrait studio, which you could go reserve times picture and get this. professional pictures taken of yourself. Yeah. Uh, they also these are the like group of people. Photos. These are the group of people that go downstairs to the promenade, and. Well, down there in the promenade and take photos in the evenings uh, on day one through six. Right. Now next to them is Tiffany and Company because you know you have to have at least 15 different jewelry stores on a ship. But they got some awesome sculptures too. There's a set of three of them here. They're really cool looking. Honey, yes, babe. this last door might be one of your favorites. I'm not allowed to go in it. And you're not allowed to go in it. Oh, I'm not going to argue with you. Who's going to argue when their wife doesn't want to go in a coach store? <laughs> Do you really want to go in it? No. Okay, go in it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I give you permission. Okay, now I get it. Kristen's over coach. I am not. She's moved on to Michael Kors. Which is downstairs in a promenade, so uh, I eventually want one. We'll be but... checking. We'll be checking Michael Kors out tomorrow. <laughs> so now we're at what probably is the entrance of Central Park. Uh, we always come from the back because our room's in the back. But if you come from the front, this is what you see: the entrance of Central Park. Uh, we're done with this side, and we're going to move on to this side. Which is that coach person in the, in the window? Yes. So Which one? one? All the way in the back against the wall. Well, I see a bunch of them. Yeah, I want them all. All of them. Okay. <laughs> I thought we moved on from Coach. We did. Okay. Uh, now let's cover this side, which is a lot less stuff. But watch your step. Yes. I love these lights. So first up, we have a restaurant called uh, Tapas, and let's see, this looks like, uh, I don't know what you consider this food, fancy food. Uh, it is a premium restaurant, it does cost extra to eat here, uh, they do have wine tastings here and stuff like that, uh, it's very cozy looking inside. Very cool. Now tapas, what really is is small plates and stuff, and it is a the bar portion of Vintage's. And Vintage's entrance is actually over here. So let's walk this way, past Kristen taking photos. And this is the main entrance to Vintage's. 
vintages is again a wine bar uh, with all kind of vintage wines and stuff in there. Uh, wines are, glasses of wines are included. Some glasses of wines are included in the deluxe beverage packages, uh, but you can buy bottles and stuff like that if you wanted to. Cool little outside eating area. Again, I haven't been here to Vintages, so check it out if you're on ship. So we made it back to where the two paths kind of meet again in this general area. Park Cafe is off to that side. Here's a pianist and a violinist playing. And off to the side here is Giovanni's. This is the second place you could eat with the key on a day of arrival for lunch. Excellent, excellent, excellent Italian food. Super, super good. Uh, it, was, it was a tough choice. Not, you know, between the hair and chops. Right. Because chops is excellent, excellent, excellent steak. So, yeah. So continuing to walk through Central Park, you get this beautiful trellis with vines and plant life hanging all over it. You get a awesome seating area here that you can sit at and just enjoy the view. Or you could look over the promenade down on deck six. I love these bright windows and they let in a ton of light onto the promenade. This is so beautiful. During the day, this would be gorgeous to come see. Again, all these, and I think what impresses me most is all of these are live plants. And here's an, another set of tr trellises. Oh, well, this one's lit up much better. You see how pretty it is. Very cool. Just the integration of the benches into the walls, into more benches. Where I'm gonna sit. Uh, the orchids in the background. The little gnome just hanging out there. Did you see the koala bear up there? Is it a koala bear? Yeah. Where? Right there. Where? Right there. Where? Behind the leaves. I don't see him. I don't see him. It took me about 10 minutes, but Kristen finally pointed him out. It's a little koala bear. Little details like that just are awesome. And then the orchids, like I mentioned before, Kristen loves orchids. Just why I love this area. We've actually spent a couple different times here. We haven't really recorded it, uh, but now we are. You know, as much as I'd love a room over boardwalk, if I had to have an interior balcony, uh, I wouldn't mind an interior balcony over Central Park. Yeah. Uh, however, I think these are all like bigger suites. Are they? Yeah. I mean, look at the balconies. The balconies, like three times as big as ours is. Right. Yeah. Those ones are small. Okay. Well, the ones I'm looking at are huge. Last but not least on our tour of Central Park. And look, rising tides back up top. This restaurant right here, 150 Central Park is the most recommended restaurant by all the staff of the ship and mostly the officers all recommend 150 Central Park. Uh, apparently they have excellent, excellent, excellent food. Uh, 
Yeah, just look at that menu. Uh, expensive food. A premium restaurant. Uh, someplace we haven't eaten, but we really, really want to. One day we'll actually get to eat here on one future cruise we take. And now we're back to where we started. A full loop. Uh, now we have a show to go to, come fly with me, in about a half an hour or so. Uh, you want a drink real quick? Yeah, why not? Let's go to the terrace bar. All right. Fine. We'll go to the trellis bar. Well, that's what it's called. Should know I don't know the name of anything yet. I'm surprised I made it around here with the, getting half the names of these things right. That is true. I am proud of you. Thank you. Honey. Yeah, babe. Give me two pina coladas. Yeah. One for each hand? Of course. No. One for me and one for you, silly. Uh, we need four. Yeah, we probably do. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's nice just sitting out here next to the bar, uh, listening to the music, which every time I see him turn us on, the music stops. <laughs> right, I was just going to say, I don't know just why it does that. Uh, as nice as this is, we have a show to catch. And since it's the last performance of it, we should probably get headed over there. So we will see you at the Opal Theater for Come Fly With Me. Cool.